This project began with Walmart uh, about three years ago when the goal was to develop something uh, with radical aesthetics, <laughs> with some flowing dynamic lines incorporated into the body of the trailer. The intention was to use the lightweight components um, from uh, our suppliers and the latest technology that they had available and put them all together in a really cool package. It was never intended to haul any freight. It was never intended uh, to have a load put in it. It was never intended to be registered for operation. But then somewhere along the way, Walmart raised the bar on what our goals were to be. They wanted something more than that. Uh, it went from a show product to one that could be loaded, to one that could haul cargo, to one that could be put into operation if they wanted to. Um, so we at Great Dane began to change our goals too. We, we knew that our manufacturing professionals that we employed had the experience and the creativity to, to make something radically different from a product despite the fact that the jigs and fixtures in our plant were very limited. We learned that Peterbilt had been working with Roche Engineering out of D Detroit who has a uh, great reputation for creating striking yet functional designs for the automotive industry. And it was Roche Engineering that we used to manufacture the uniquely shaped front nose on this trailer made of a lightweight core and clad with solid carbon fiber. Uh, FiberTech was a current supplier of Great Dane trailers and they made large composite panels, and one of the few that could for the trailer industry and a product that many of you know as FRP, our fiberglass reinforced plywood. But they were able to team with one of their partners, Milliken, who provided a lightweight core, and along with the carbon fiber skins, was able to produce a panel for this trailer that met the strength and the weight numbers that we needed for the walls and the roof. The floor is very much the same construction as the walls and the roof. It is also a product made by Millican and FiberTech, except that it has a core material that combats the compressive stresses of forklift loading. So you can't put forklift traffic inside of this trailer. Once all the component testing was done, everything was brought together, uh, less than 150 miles from this location in Terre Haute, Indiana, on one Saturday morning, we built this trailer. Uh, the construction of it went quick. It took very little labor because, as you know, typical trailer construction takes a lot of small components put together to make a large component. But when all of the components come into the factory, pre-assembled in large panels, it takes very little time to, to, make that, uh, to do that assembly. There are several other technologies that went into the construction, such as the adhesives. You will see a lot of fasteners at the locations of the joints between the roof and the sides and the front. But there's also glue that we use to adhere these panels together so that the mechanical fasteners are really not necessary, but lacking some of the necessary tooling that we needed to administer the right volumes of glue to put the correct clamping pressure on there. We put the, um, we put the mechanical fasteners in there in the, so that we would be assured that there would not be any problems. Uh, the marker and the mid-turn and the clearance lamps are a new technology produced by Grody Industries. Light form, as they are called, sets a new standard uh, for compliant lighting in the industry. Uh, the LED emitters are mounted on thin polycarbonate strips and uh, they are capable of photometrics that meet and exceed the DOT requirements we know today and they do it with far less current than the traditional LED lighting. Uh, they are, uh, because of their very small profile, they are aerodynamic, less likely to get damaged, and they were especially helpful in this project to be able to conform to the curved exteriors that we have on some of the trailers. And we also put uh, Holland's PosiLift suspension on this trailer so that uh, during a diminishing load, the front axle will lift automatically. Uh, when we have less tire contacts with the road, we have less rolling resistance, which means that we have better fuel economy.